Bold steps to reduce gun violence. Portland police are exploring surveillance technology to help officers respond faster to shootings. It's called Shot Spotter, and it's a system designed to pick up the sound of gunshots and alert police. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas joins us now live from the mobile newsroom. And Adrian, is there support for Shot Spotter in Portland? Well, Nora, we're learning that the um, special group known as FITCOG that works with um, Portland police to make, recommenda to make recommendations on reducing gun violence plans to push this forward to, to Portland City Council um, to implement the shot spotter technology, but one city council member is concerned. ShotSpotter works by installing sensors in various areas in a city, and when a gun is fired near one of the sensors, it sends an alert to police pinpointing the location, and officers are dispatched there. ShotSpotter's company website says cities like Miami and Pittsburgh are experiencing about a 40% reduction in homicides over multiple years because of the technology. And with ShotSpotter, officers are on scene in less than a minute, as opposed to a few minutes or more without the technology. A FITCOG member who is an expert in criminal justice reform says Shot Spotter has caught the eye of Portland police and some community members. So it was a mutual conversation between community members, PPB, the Community Safety Partnership, and a variety of other folks. But Dr. Roning says the placement of Shot Spotter sensors needs to be driven by crime data, and a solid plan should be in place so certain areas of Portland aren't monitored more or less than others. My perspective is that the technology has potential benefits so long as Portland follows sort of a series of conditions around things that the city as a whole and the community as a whole needs to consider. Currently, FITCOG's shot spotter proposal is undergoing a peer review, and then it will be presented to Portland City Council for more debate. In a June FITCOG meeting, the group's chair said the pros of shot spotter outweigh the cons. And we've heard both the pluses and the minuses. Um, but we believe that in the in the totality of it all, that um, that that shot spotter is a is a technology um, for um, um, uh, for police operations that we believe uh, could have a positive impact on um, uh, on the fight against um, gun violence in the city of Portland. But Portland Commissioner Joanne Hardesty says she has questions, one being she's concerned about possible false alarms from ShotSpotter and how an already understaffed Portland Police Bureau would handle these situations. In a statement to Fox 12, Hardesty said in part, quote, if I can get answers to these questions, I'm happy to consider a pilot of this technology, but without a sound plan in place, I'm concerned this will be a tool for surveilling and over-policing low-income neighborhoods and communities of color that does nothing to actually reduce gun violence. And if we truly want to reduce crime, we need to expand investments to address the underlying problems people face that drive them to commit crimes such as poverty. And again, FITCOG or the focused, um, the focused intervention team community oversight group is a special group made up of Portland residents that work with police to reduce gun violence. We reached out to Mayor Ted Wheeler's office for comment on Shot Spotter. A staffer got back to us and said the mayor will comment once FITCOG formally makes its recommendation about Shot Spotter to City Council. Live in the mobile newsroom, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.